Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I'm gonna be doing a detailed comparison on the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Apparently the best replica there is versus the Nike pair that I actually went off the sneakers at. Before we get into this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be putting out more content. If this video does well, then maybe I'll do more of these uh, real versus fakes. So this video is just for educational purposes. I do not condone counterfeit goods. If you're trying to find out where I got this fake pair from don't even bother asking because I'm not I'm not promoting any counterfeit businesses the reason why I got this is because I want you guys my subscribers to be educated and uh, informed when actually purchasing one of these sneakers they're going for a lot of money right now and there's a lot of fakes going around and a lot of people are getting scammed another reason I want to make this video is because of the controversy surrounding StockX with these shoes so a lot of people have been complaining, saying that StockX has sent them a, a fake pair of these shoes and people were upset, man. It was all over the timeline. There was even a guy who was um, boasting about selling 100 pairs of fake Travis Scott Jordan 1s to StockX and 88% of them going through. Now, we don't know if that's real and I, I don't believe it. After looking at the post, it looks a little bit uh, edited or photoshopped, but hey, you never know, I'm sure fake ones slip by them every now and then but i wanted to make this really because when i got my pair from nike i noticed there was a lot of inconsistencies with the pairs you know so it's, it's hard to determine between the real and the fake so when i was looking for the best fake that i could possibly find um i didn't really know where to start so i just googled replica sites and like a million them a million sites came up um i was a bit overwhelmed but uh I wanted to get the best quality so I didn't want to just buy from any site and I didn't want to get scammed either you know so I started doing my research and looking around forums on reddit and things like like that um, asking people that I know who mess with replicas I ended up coming across this one particular site you know I, I hit them up um, they asked me to to send them the money via PayPal friends and family which I'm not a fan of I was actually a little skeptical about doing it but uh i really wanted to get this video done and and they came highly praised from some other sketchy dudes honestly if you ask me but anyway they kept their word i got the shoe about a week later now if you if you're a person that rocks um replicas uh hey by all means do you i really don't care honestly even if i knew somebody was wearing a fake i wouldn't call them out on it um the only time i would really be upset is if you're trying to sell something or you're trying to sell a replica and uh line people saying that they're real now that's something that i do not condone so that's why we're doing this video we're gonna make sure that we cop our travis scott's from a third party like stock x or go we're gonna make sure our shit comes back legit okay so let's go on with the video all right so here they are to my left we have the fake pair and to my right, we have the retail pair from Nike. Okay, so we're gonna start off by looking at the box and then we'll work our way inside to the shoes. As you can tell, um, the boxes are pretty much the same size. Obviously, the one to my left is a size 11 and the retail pair is a size 11 and a half, but there shouldn't be any size differences. It's pretty much the same size, it's probably off the fake pair is off maybe by like pfft, like an eighth of an inch, if that, okay? So looking at the colors of the box, the colors are almost spot on, but on the fake pair, the color is a little, just slightly more glossy. I don't know if it's gonna pick this up. Whereas on the retail pair, it's a little more matte, okay? Everything looks like it's where it's supposed to be. Let's go on to the, the tags. So on the real pair, this is the tag right here. Size 11 and a half. This I, I got off of uh, the sneakers app. And on this pair, on the fake pair. All right, so off the back, I'm not sure if this is a big deal, but the UPC on the fake pair is off by about two digits all right so they did a pretty good job with the font let's see the size of the tag the 
the size of the tag is almost spot on as you can see boy they messed up they messed up on the suggested retail okay this is the real pair right here size 11 and a half look at the font now you notice it's a little bit small I'm gonna just focus okay now look at the fake pair the suggested retail font is just slightly bigger you know you probably won't even notice it unless you have another a real one in hand or even probably any other Jordan 1 box might might be the same as the real one all right another thing I noticed different the Jumpman and the Jordan.com right here just a little more gold I mean but that's can't really go by that because it could be it's just rubbing away off the fake pair everything looks exactly the same man the box they did a good job on the box except for that the colors just a tad bit off now let's get into the shoe Not really to see there. Now let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so first we'll start with the wax paper. The Cactus Jack, they have some special wax paper here. And off the back, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can already notice that the real pair is a little more saturated than the fake. Okay. The feel of it too. This feels more high quality. Fake pair feels really a lot thinner than the real pair. Okay, look at the uh, the Nike logo and the Jordan logo. You can tell that the print on this is a little more faded, and on this is a little more rich. Okay, I mean I'm pretty sure there's some fakes out there that probably got the spot on, but just something to look for. Okay. So on the inside of the box, nothing much to see here. They got this little sticker here. I mean, it's not a big deal really. I wouldn't go by that. That's pretty much it. Let's move on to the actual pairs. To my right, again, is the size 11 and a half, straight from Nike. And to my left is the size 11, straight from PK, China, or wherever the hell it came from. Okay. All right, first thing we'll look at is the, the uh, tag on the tongue. Okay. Bring this up. So on the retail pair, you can see it bleeding a little bit, not much. But on the fake pair, you see it bleeding a lot. Well, just a little bit more. Also, one thing I'm noticing, this is the fake pair right here. Notice how they messed up this tag right here? You can kind of see, you can kind of see the lettering on the top. On the real pair, it's nice and white and perfect. Okay. Even though I'm pretty sure there's some retail pairs that got that a little messed up, but this tag right here just feels a little bit loose. It's a little bit loose. Okay. Now let's look at the. Now well, let's look at the laces. You can never really go by the laces because these nowadays, man, they got the, the laces spot on most of the time. All right, so these are the laces. The 
red looks pretty spot on. The cream laces, pretty spot on. The bags are the same size, same exact bags. Look at the brown. Man, these laces are identical. Identical, the color and everything. I've seen some reviews saying that the laces were a little bit off in the color, but not these, these are identical. Okay, got that out the way. Material. Material feels pretty much the same. All right, to my left is the fake, to my right is the real. Let's look at this Cactus Jack logo right here. Let's see if the camera zooming in. Well, they look pretty, pretty identical, honestly. I don't know if you guys see something. Let me know. The size of the tongue is exactly the same. The color is exactly the same. The Nike Air on the real pair. See if I can clean this up. It just looks a little more sharper than the fake pair. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's just a tad bit sharper. I mean, you wouldn't even notice, honestly. The way they stitched it is almost identical. All right, let's look at the fonts. Remember, to my right is the real pair, to my left is the fake pair. Okay, this is the font on the fake pair. Notice the how the lettering starts on the top. They messed that pair up. This is the font on the real pair. I mean, you really can't go by this because they look almost exactly the same. Got this little flap down here. All right, so on the bottom is the fake pair, on the top is the real pair. Then the material, real quick. they use feels spot on honestly okay let's look at this suede remember to the right is this is the real pair this is the fake pair see the real pair suede right there a new book whatever it is it's the fake pair Honestly, the materials feel exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay. Now let's look at the placement of the swoosh. Now I noticed on my on my retail pair from Nike, the placement of the swoosh is all jacked up. So um, I don't think you can really go by that because these shoes are known to have many inconsistencies. Um, this is the real pair right here. Notice the placement of the swoosh. And this, uh, the corner of the stitching here. That's on the left shoe. Let me show you the right shoe of the real one though. Look at this. The hell is that? And this is the retail, per retail pair. So, can't really go by that. I mean, if you notice something off, like the, like the swoosh is like skinny or something, then, you know, Something's wrong, but the placement of it, I don't think you can really go by that. Okay, this is the fake pair. Honestly, the fake pair looks, the cuts and everything on the leather is 
much cleaner than the rope here. It's much cleaner. Almost like they did a better job. Okay, that's the right pair of the fake. This is the other pair of the fake. So even the fakes are inconsistent with the with the placement of their swoosh. Alright. Now let's look at the Jordan logo. This is the fake pair right here. Right. Can't really tell any differences so far. This is the real pair. One thing I'm noticing is well, the font on the fake pair. You see where it says Air Jordan and all the detailing in it? It's a little bit thicker than on the real pair. There's the retail pair. You see it's more thin. Okay. Fake pair. See how it's thicker? You can see that Air Jordan more. This is the retail pair. Remember, this is the retail, this is fake. I don't really like to go for this because uh I was watching a review by Unbreakable Kicks and he had about four retail pairs side by side and each one of these little faces were different. Left is fake, right is real. Notice this right here is a little bit bigger than on the real pair. So the fake pair, this little square piece right here, it's just, it's actually a lot bigger than this right here. So on the top, the real pair on the bottom is the fake pair. Honestly, it's pretty much identical. This is the fake pair. This is the real, real pair. Look at the Velcro on the real pair. The Velcro on the real pair has black stitching and a little bit of white. You see that white stitching there? Okay. Look at the other side. Both sides have that little bit of white stitching there. But on the fake pair, right here the stitching inside is completely black also the velcro on the fake pair it feels it's actually better velcro it feels more rough this is the fake pair you see it has any white stitching and it does not have any white stitching. Let's see if we get that in focus. But on the real pair, we have a little bit of white stitching there. See that? It's on both sides and on both shoes. Actually, Stitching on the fake, on the real pair over here. You guys some shit. The stitching on the other shoe on the real pair doesn't have any white stitching at all. So, can't go by that either, apparently. Oh, this is a real pair right here. This is the real pair. Nike 
in inconsistent with this. All right, so we can't go by the stitching on the inside of the shoe because obviously they, they were inconsistent with that. Okay, look at the bottom of the shoe. To my left is the fake pair. To my right is the real pair. Okay, I think the major difference in the whole entire shoe is on the bottom of the shoe. Okay. Let me make sure this is the group. Okay. So on the fake pair, look at the details. The, it, these little stars over here on the front. Let's see. It's much more raised up. Like it pops out way more than on the real pair. On the real pair, on the real pair, it's kind of doesn't pop out as much. It's more smoother. But on the fake pair, man, this thing is popping out. It's popping out a lot. You can hear it too when I scrape it up. On the real pair, well, you can hear it too, but it's a big difference. And all the way through, see that? See how these little things are popping out like crazy? But look at the real pair. Not so much, right? Okay, so I think that's the giveaway right there. I mean, let me know in the comment section if it is or not. The stitching on the fake pair. Let's see. The top, this is the real pair. This is the fake pair. I know because my real, my real pair, they fucked up the stitch in here. But anyway. Okay, they got a lot of, the retail pair has a lot of paint flaws. Right here. And the fake pair also has flaws in the paint. Look at the color. Man, I think they, they nailed the color though. The color is almost, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. The color of the stitching right there, that cream color, is exactly the same as the retail. So if you see it white, if that stitching is white right there, like a like a plain white, it's fake. I don't care what anybody says. Well they got it, they got it perfect. I guess because the fake pair is a little smaller, because it's a size 11, it looks a little more close together. Those little holes on the size 11 half, they're more spread out. You can't really go over that. Another thing too, that this leather here, on the fake pair is, is more tumbled than on the real pair. The real pair is soft, don't get me wrong buttery but on the fake pair it just seems more tumbled pair of the shoe trees I mean you can't really go by it's the same exact shoe tree except one has this the real pair has this on it the fake pair doesn't but I mean, you can't really go by this, man, because, shit, I bet anybody could just switch these up. Okay, let's go to the inside now. Okay. So on the left is the fake, right is the real. Fake pair. Real pair. No differences that I can see except for the the font on the real pair. On, let's get this in focus. You can't really get I can't get it in focus, but the font there is a lot thinner than the font on the fake pair. The font on the fake pair is more thick. 
don't know if you can pick that up. Tag. The real pairs don't have this QR, this QR code right here. This is the fake pair. This is fake. This is the real pair. They have the traditional tag. All right, my production date says 12, 4, 18 to 12, 25, 18. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the detailed comparison between the replicas and the retail Nike from sneakers. Travis Scott one. If there's anything I missed, or if there's any other things that uh, I didn't cover that you might know of, please let me know in the comment section. That's the whole purpose of this video, so that way we're educated, so we can determine what's real and what's not. So that way, if someone's actually wanting to buy this pair, the real version, they can do so with confidence. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I promise I'm gonna be putting out more content and more frequently. Um, I have some giveaways coming up soon as we approach the 5,000 subscriber mark. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.